I'm here to read for you again. Hello, say light and love tarot, or Hillary for short. Welcome, welcome. Happy Taco Tuesday. I'm sorry I'm delayed. Uh, I meant to come back yesterday. I was sick uh, Friday, I think. Yes, yeah. Sick over the weekend, and then I had an unexpected guest come stay, and so Monday ended up being a little hectic, so I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll jump back on on Tuesday, we'll just do Taco Tuesday, and it's all good, so, uh, I hope that you are doing well, I hope you're doing wonderful, if you are new, welcome, if you are returning, hello my darling, thank you so much for being here, for supporting me, I love you so much, you mean everything to me, um, okay, we're gonna see who is talking about you, that's what Taco Tuesday is here on this channel, um, yeah, we're going to see who's talking about you. Hopefully it's all good things. Um, but either way, I just feel like it's important that we know who is saying our name. Who's saying our name? This could be lover, family, friend, coworker, boss. Sp I just heard sponsor. Maybe a sponsor. I'm not sure. We will find out. Okay, let's see. I'm going to clear for you and clear for me. And we will jump right in with some cosmic insights to see your relationship with this person. See who they are. See your dynamic. Let's see. Okay. Spirit, my higher self, my viewer's higher self, thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct. I ask for the clearest, most concise answers and messages to come through for the betterment of my viewer and for the highest good of everyone involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. And thank you so much again for being here. I truly, truly love and appreciate you and value you. I feel so fortunate to be here doing this for you. Thank you for letting me tap into your energy. All right, let's see. Let's get some insight so we can figure out if this is your reading. Here we go. All right, can you give me some details on this? Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out, and divorce. Experiencing a breakup. You're not in contact with who you might have been married to. Ooh, okay. Love spell. You've been bewitched. I don't like that. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. Interesting. Uh, very specific. Obviously not for everyone. But if you are planning a trip with your ex, they might try to reconnect on the trip, maybe. The red flags you ignore now will become, <laughs> will become, will come back to bite you later. You know, what's really interesting, I'm not sure, this, I don't feel animosity here, even though there's divorce and stuff, I don't feel animosity, I feel like if you have children with this person, you guys are great co-parents, and I feel like that is possibly why you would be going on a trip together. Maybe you would take a trip with your kids, with your whether they're adult children or young children. Maybe you planned that just to have a good experience together. This feels very, very specific, so I know that this won't resonate for everyone. That story is very specific. Either way, um, hmm. That, or to get more general, you have an ex here that maybe knows that you are leaving on vacation, on t moving someplace, and they're going to try to convince you to stay for some reason. Now, all day today, I was feeling, yeah, look at that. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. I feel like someone's going to try to charm you to stay. Okay, so that's more for the general, the general public. Um, interesting. All day today, I felt very, like, led to be wearing my evil eye protection and tourmaline, specifically for psychic um, protection, right? Um, and I felt called to that after, I think, my last reading, um... I got really overtaken by 
the emotions in my last reading. And I was like, I don't like, <laughs> I, I appreciate being that in tune with everyone's energy, but I also feel like I need to make sure that I'm guarding my own, right? So that I can be clear and make sure that I'm not, you know, leading a reading with, with the wrong energy. Anyway, I'm feeling the need to communicate that you might want to look into some sort of energetic protection, cleansing, just to make sure, especially if you're going to go on a trip with an ex soon for any reason. Okay, let's jump in. Let's see there. There. Let's see your energy towards them. That's what I'm going to do. Your energy towards them, and then we'll do their energy towards you. And then we'll figure out what they are saying. And advice for you going forward. Okay, let's see. Spirit, can you please give my viewers energy towards this person who is talking about them? Can you please give me the energy of my viewer and how they are feeling, thinking, where they are energetically with the person that is talking about them? Thank you. My viewer's energy, Jesus, okay. Okay, let's see. You got the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Uh, okay, with the Fool on bottom. And the high priestess underneath. Okay, your energy towards this person who is talking about you. I'm going to read you as the queen, regardless of gender. That's the energy that I'm getting for you. So I feel like you are right now on a journey of self-love, right? I feel like you are very much a loving person, and that's why maybe you possibly still get along. Um, I feel like... I feel like you're wanting to kind of move on, maybe not. I, I'm feeling like you're kind of like, whatever happens, happens. If it's with this person, great. If it's not, great. <laughs> like, um, <coughs> excuse me. With the fool underneath and the high priestess, I think you're just like, I'm going to follow wherever my intuition leads me. Like, I, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to possibly give this person a, another chance I could move on I'll see what I feel like when I feel like it now I do feel like this person's not the center of your world anymore you're looking away from this person this one is, this person is looking at you so I feel like you're just like I'm hearing that Selena Gomez song why is Selena Gomez coming up so much lately if you're ready come and get it na 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 I feel like you're just like, if you want it, come get it. Like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to work on me. And I'm going to move towards things that I love. Because it's too bit, it's too hard trying to carry the burden of everything. Trying to worry about everything. Putting in so much effort. I feel like you're just in a mode of receiving. Okay? You're open to love with this person, maybe. You're open to things. But you're also open to moving on. That's a really that's a really balanced energy for you. I I like that. Okay, let's see their energy towards you. Spirit, can you please give me the energy of the person who is talking about my viewer? Give me their energy, their thoughts, their feelings. energy towards my viewer, please. <gasps> the devil. Maybe dealing with a Capricorn. The hermit.
and the three of wands. Okay. With the four of swords on bottom. Okay. This person's energy towards you. They are very much uh, obsessing about this right now. Um, yeah. I feel like they're trying not to. I feel like they're kind of keeping to themselves with the hermit. Uh, there's a lot of like blue in these cards and green. So they may be feeling, uh, someone's feeling some jealousy. Probably because you're not paying them any mind. You know, and this king of wands around his neck, over his heart, around his throat chakra, around his heart chakra, a green scarf. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of jealousy right now. And they're in this obsessive mode because they're in a place of having to be alone, having to self-reflect, having to think about things. And they're overthinking about it in an obsessive way. I feel like this person is probably acting very cold and distant. Okay? They're waiting for something to happen here. They may, they may be waiting for you to communicate with them. After the Three of Wands is the Four of Wands. Just like my marriage celebration 11-11 card. But they don't like... They might be cold because they're in their head obsessing about this. They also could just find you like really really attractive um you may be like some sort of temptation for them and so they're kind of trying to analyze it's it's being of two minds okay one side of them very obsessive very jealous very much like n wanting your attention again Wanting things to come together. Waiting for things to come together. And at the same time, with that hermit, they're trying to analyze these thoughts, right? They're trying to fix these thoughts and see it more clearly. Huh. This person feels all over the place. Okay. Uh, let's get what they're saying. Let's get what they're saying. And then we'll get your advice okay can you please tell me what this person is saying about my viewer what's this person saying who are they saying it to I'm getting a lot of jealousy the more that devil card stares at me the more jealousy I am feeling Trying not to be though, but they're still waiting for something. I feel like they're waiting for you to come back. Okay. What is this person saying? Who are they saying it to? What are they saying about my viewer? Eight of Cups reversed. Talk about waiting for you to come back. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're talking about how they wish that you would not have walked away. They feel like you walked away and it was the wrong decision. You know, the Eight of Cups upright is making that decision after the seven of cups after having a lot of time to think about all of your options right making the choice and deciding what you have been pursuing all the things you've been pursuing you're getting clear about it and you're walking away from the other things that were not for you towards something happy towards something positive towards the nine the nine of cups eight of cups reversed they're talking about how you made the wrong decision leaving What are they saying? Seven of Pentacles upright. <sighs> mm. 
next to that Eight of Cups. I'm going to get a couple more cards too. High Priestess. Strength and the Queen of Cups. There you are, darling. Hello, darling, my old friend. There you are. Okay. Four of Cups on bottom. Okay. You got two fours there. So, um, someone's birthday could be the 4th. It could be in April. Maybe the 24th. Let's see. Um, put this all together. They think they're talking about how you made the wrong decision walking away, how you decided basically that you're going to regret not investing in this. Seven of Pentacles is someone deciding if something is worth their time. Next to that Eight of Cups reverse, they're, they're saying you did all this analyzing and you made the wrong choice. Hmm. High Priestess Strength. They may feel like it came out of nowhere. Doesn't necessarily have to be true. But in this person's perspective right now, what they're saying is that it came out of nowhere. It was completely unexpected. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. Strength and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person has a hard time articulating. I feel like they have a hard time seeing things clearly. Like, I am having a hard time seeing this clearly, and I normally don't have any trouble with this. But it's like, they are just clouded by their own perception. I feel like, really... They feel like you got stern out of nowhere. They feel like you got stern out of nowhere. Like, like you... We're super, super sweet, super loving, and then now you're more tough, you're more rigid. Okay. I want to know what this person's going to do. Why are they saying this? Okay. Why is this person saying this? What, what, what is upcoming? What are they going to do? What's their upcoming actions? What steps are they going to take, if any? You know, it's, it's so bizarre because it's kind of a woe is me energy with the four of cups on the bottom. But it's also not... I don't know how someone could be conveying this information, talking about this information, but not be like last week, I think last week's message, someone was trying to milk attention, milk sympathy. This person's not trying to milk sympathy. They are kind of flat hearted about it, but it's still their perception. It's not like they're trying to say, oh, I, I was so victimized because I was blindsided. It's just like, I didn't see it coming. I don't know, one minute she, not she, one minute everything was fine, the next minute it's not. They'll be back, they made the wrong choice, they'll come to realize that they made the wrong choice, that's what, that's like what they're saying, like they're not in a victim mentality about it, but that's their perception. Okay. What are they going to do? The lovers reversed. Queen of Cups again. Six of Swords reversed. I don't feel like they're going to do anything. I don't think you have anything to worry about if you want to move past this person. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Okay. 
So right now they're not making any, they're not taking any action. They are up in their head with that nine of swords on the bottom. Eight of swords under that. They really don't know what to do. I don't think, I don't think they're going to do anything. Like, they're not going to, like if you're worried about this person going over the top or being like a stalkerish or whatever or not leaving you alone, no, this person's going to leave you alone. They're going to let you make your own choice, right? They're going to let you make your own choice, even if they don't agree with it. Um, they don't like it, though, with the Six of Swords reversed. They don't like it. They're not happy about it. That just that's just kind of like I don't know they're just like in this energy but then they have the page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Ultimately, what you choose. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for piecing that together. They're not going to try to force anything here. They're not going to try to force your hand. If you're wanting this person to basically come beg for forgiveness or whatever, I don't see them doing that. I see them offering some sort of small apology, you know, um, but ultimately this person's very disconnected from their feelings. They're very disconnected from their feelings, even throughout this whole thing. Like, it's so bizarre that what they're saying is basically like, If you heard anyone, if you were reading a script or whatever, and someone was saying it's, this separation came out of nowhere, you were fine one day and then you weren't, and you're making the wrong decision, you, it would sound like a victim statement. Victim statement, that's the wrong thing. That's not right. <laughs> it would sound like they have a victim mentality. This person is not communicating in a way that is hinting or even showing that they feel like they're a victim. It's just very nonchalant. Okay? So this person's going to stay nonchalant. They'll maybe extend a small olive branch. Hey, let's, can we at least be friends or something? Sorry that it worked out this way, but ultimately, whatever you choose, they are not going to chase after you to change your mind. Okay. Great. We love, we love acceptance ish. Although this person doesn't seem, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like it's not, they're not shot, but they're still like super, I don't know. I don't know. They might have a lot of pride issues. That's why they might not be seeming as affected as they are. Cause you got the devil and you got that hermit. Like this person, this person is affected. But they're not acting like it. Okay. Advice cards for my viewer in this situation. Advice cards for my viewer in this situation, please. Swords is out here again. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles on bottom. Talk about a lot of Earth energy. Your advice here. Your advice. Seriously, why is my judgment so clouded right now? I apologize. Can you please give me the advice here?
if you want to work on this with this person, then you will have to take the steps for that to happen because this person is not going to come after you. If that's what you want, that's what you have to decide. You have to be open to working with other people, to working together, to fix it, to coming together. Maybe a friendship, you know, Three of Pentacles isn't necessarily love for me. It can be just working together team, you know. But you need to decide what you want with the King of Swords. And if you want this person, he, they came up as the King of Swords on their side. You viewed them as the King of Wands on your side. But they came up as the King of Swords. So, if you want to get the truth out there, you have to decide that. And you will have to take the steps. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. You will have to communicate if you want to work on this. Okay? It's up to you. There's no right or wrong. But you might need to be okay with it taking... With it taking some time, okay? You might have to take it slow. Interesting. I feel like this blocked energy is this person. <laughs> okay. I don't know, maybe it could be you. I'm going to get you some moon oracles to close this out, and then I will send you on your merry way. I, I don't know. I feel like... Uh, I don't know about this reading. I don't know. That was bizarre. Not the reading, just the amount of complete disconnection from the truth of being... The truth here. And I feel like that's telling for the situation. Like it's taking time for things to be realized for me. Which is really bizarre. Okay. Kali, Kali, Kali. Step into the unknown. Do not be afraid. I don't know what the unknown could be for you. It could be trusting someone. It could be moving on. You'll have to figure out what your unknown is that you're kind of apprehensive about going towards. I, I kind of feel like maybe... Hmm, I don't know. I feel like maybe you're, you're wanting more from this person. You want them to show up energetically more, right? So that they care more, so maybe that's why you left, hoping that that would spark them to care more. But I feel like this person is just very nonchalant. I don't think that's changing. So it's up to you. Nonchalant people aren't bad to be with. Practical, you know. If you, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Whatever is unknown for you, you might want to explore that, okay? Spells and ritual bring magic and self-care together. That's funny because we got that love spell earlier about someone being bewitched. New more moon witch oracles. Thank you. New moon. Fresh start, new beginnings. The new moon is coming up. We just had the full moon. You might want to get clear on what you want. Clear on what you want. What new things you want. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Ceres? Ceres? Caris? I don't know. Love and mother yourself. There's that Queen of Cups energy, honestly. There's that Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Cups came out in all but one of the decks that I used. Okay, that's your reading. Uh, I don't know about this. Honestly, like... If this was your reading, I'll be really surprised because this just feels really, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for spending time with me. I love you so much. 
Tomorrow is What's Good Wednesday. We're going to dive in and see what good things are coming in for you this upcoming week. If I see you then, I'll be so happy to see you. I'll say hi then. If this is where we part, have a great week or rest of your life. All right. I love you so much. Bye.